Okay guys, so this content creator did select shielded cable. So he did have good intentions. Unfortunately, that's where it ended. He doesn't understand that he should be using double shielded cable or he didn't want to invest in the proper budget to build this machine. Why must he use double shielded cable? Because double shielded cable mitigates both forms of EMI for CNC robotics. It's not just because I sell it. I sell it because I understand there are two forms of EMI that can actually jeopardize the stability of your robot. You first have a mylar foil, which is the single shield. The second shield is tin braided copper, and they mitigate both high and low frequencies of EMI, which are present in the shop environment. Now, a misconception is, is that the robot itself is the only tool generating EMI. That's not true. If you have any other electrical devices in your shop, they're gonna generate EMI as well. They may be generating a high or a low frequency, and your robot generating a high and low frequency, and when you combine everything, that's where the double shielded cable is most effective. Henceforth, that's why it costs more, but it's justified by knowing you have peace of mind by investing in the correct tools to build your robot. Once again, this is something that cannot be overlooked and usually is by content creators because they can't justify the price. That's the first thing, and then it would fall into the lack of knowledge. Now, the other area of concern here is his solder joints. And I can tell you, like many of you out there working with electronics, you can look at joints and you can instantly see where we have blobbing occurring, which defines that he's not using flux. 